All right guys, camping season is fast approaching and I was checking out my gear the other day and my old camping lantern, the old faithful has finally bit the dust after years of abuse. Uh, the old battery, the, uh, battery terminals have uh, corroded. So I've treated myself to a Phoenix CL23. Oh my God, this thing is amazing. And it's very bright. That is on its highest setting. I'm going to go through the settings with you, show how long each setting lasts for, give you a close up of the actual unit itself, but let's cycle through the settings. So it's got a memory function, so this was the last setting I had it on, which is the brightest one. So we go down, it's got the medium setting, again more than enough for a, a tent. And then you've got a under light, perfect for map reading, that kind of thing, a slightly brighter version of the under light, you could also use that as a torch, but uh, perfect for, you know, if, you, if you're driving a car, you want to look at your map, you just hang it up there, it's got a little hook, uh, loop on the top, and you can just uh, check out what you're doing, press it again, it takes you back to the uh, main lantern setting. Now there is a setting on here, let me see if I can find it, this one. Now you can't really tell by looking at this camera here, but the back bit, isn't even lit it's just the ambient light coming from the two LEDs at the front there and what that's for it's directional lighting so if you just want to focus the light on a certain area like you want to read a book or something like that that is ideal for that and another setting this got if you double click it you get a red light perfect for uh, adjusting your eyesight to the dark double click it oops you have a uh, emergency beacon there for that purpose okay so let's turn it back on to normal light there we go so like I said let's go out and have a look at this little thing I love it um, we'll have a look at the features and uh, how long each light setting lasts for let's have a look So let's have a quick look at the uh, stuff here. Okay, it takes three AA batteries, which of course is the most commonly used battery you can get. Very handy. It has a waterproof setting of IP66. A 20 meter wide beam diameter on its uh, highest setting, which is, like I said, that is more than enough. Uh, for lighting up your tent and the sort of surrounding area. Uh, on its lowest setting, which is two lumens, it will last you 350 hours. Crazy. Five year warranty, very handy. Uh, on the back here, compact and convenient. I mean, you really cannot argue with that. There is a the light that comes on the bottom. One button action. A tripod mount on the top there, in case you want to mount it to anything. And a very handy little loop there for attaching to something in your tent okay what else have we got here uh, emergency lighting which I showed you the and the uh, natural white and red lights and the tripod uh, socket at the top there okay very nice lovely but what about what about the actual how long it lasts for depending on what setting you have so at 300 lumens which is its highest setting it will last you for seven and a half hours you know you could break that down and say you can use it for an hour a night if you're doing a week's worth of camping but who camps for a week you know two nights three nights tops uh the medium setting 150 lumens 13 hours 40 lumens 45 hours then it goes ridiculous the down light <clears throat> let's show you that which is that one there. That's, that's the brightest down light, which is uh, 25 lumens. That will last you 80 hours, uh, which is crazy. But the lower setting on that one, like, like it said on the box, will last you 350 hours. That is a lifetime. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Um, impact resistance, I didn't see that before. One meter if you drop it, uh, which is pretty good. Because these things, they do take a bit of a beating. Um, Alright, so that's it. So, what I wanted to do, 
actually let's flip you around here is um, first of all I hope you had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year this is the first video of 2019 it is isn't it yeah it is is it yeah so that still plate out there is still rusting away the ACF 50 is still kicking ass and I want to show it to you now so let's go and have a look okay and the weather's been really grim ah come on but it's been an absolute trooper this thing so let's get the metal plate out so just a reminder that is the untreated steel surface as you can see completely knackered that is the WD-40 still protecting it to a certain degree certainly compared to that one the S-Dock uh, you know it's starting to lose its footing now and the rust is starting to come in but the ACF-50 how good is that? it's got a little bit of rust at the top there some little specks coming in but look at that close up and it's been how long? I don't know, months since I uh, treated this bit of steel. I'll put the exact time in there, I'll put the exact time up here now. But that's crazy. That's if you put ACF 50 on it. That's what happens if you don't. It's as simple as that. I mean, that is the mother of all advertisements for that product, isn't it? Crazy. All right, let's go back in. Jesus, it's cold today. I mean, that is really impressive. Why you would want to use anything else is beyond me. And it's not particularly expensive. It's not the cheapest, obviously, but good things really are, you know? Okay, so um, let me just lift you up here. All right, I want to give you an update on what's happening with the house buying. Um, I've found a lovely house. I haven't bought it yet. I'm in the process of uh, buying it. I'm, I'm seeing my solicitor on uh, whew, Tuesday. Uh, I've seen a really nice house. It's a 1930s semi-detached uh, out in Kent. So I've got to make the compromise of being able to afford a property further away from work, but obviously spending more money traveling into work so it's about an extra half an hour's uh put onto my journey time which is you know that's no biggie so i won't go into much detail about the house itself it's a pretty traditional free bed front garden rear garden semi-detached free bed um but the one of the traits that i'm looking for in a house is a nice garage and this house has a lovely garage it's not particularly it's not particularly great great condition in terms of cosmetically it needs a lot of work which is fine I like doing that sort of thing the only downside to it is it doesn't have from what I can tell by a picture that I've taken which I'll show you now it doesn't have a front door or a gate with you know, like a shutter which goes up and uh, up and over what I wanted to do in my head at least is lock that whole area off and have a have a secure door which is wide enough for any motorcycle obviously i'm not going to keep the bike i have now forever my the next bike i get it could be a gs it could be even wider than the bike i've got now so it has to cater for all bikes but what i would like is a door that just slides as opposed to opens so although this garage is more than big enough for what i need I want to maximize the space that I do get so I don't need a door that's going to open inwards um, and therefore you can't put anything by the door there so a sliding one would be ideal and I've seen a couple of companies that can fit them they're solid they've got deadlocks all over them you know like a steel sheet on either side um, so that's the sort of thing I'm going to go for I think there is an area just by the garage which you could use for jet washing the bike that sort of thing or there's a passageway behind it which I could do that as well so I'm, I mean I'm just 
exploring all different options at the moment. I'm very, very excited about it. I don't care if it's in bad condition, which it kind of is, but I don't mind that. I just want to get stuck in. I want to get my hands dirty, rip stuff out, rip out the old shelving, paint it, new flooring. I will keep you updated on the whole process of this garage. And as soon as I get the keys to this house, which I really hope I do, I will put up a little vid, like a before picture of the garage when I get it straight away and I'll show you guys. Anyway, I'm just rambling on. So I will see you guys very soon. Have a good one. Take it easy. Adios. Bye. See you later. Bye.